guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl miss our fabulous pretty point any style and pretty in our real life why and welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel please make sure you like comment and subscribe please do not be watching my videos and not smashing the like button because girls i'm giving you guys content you lot are at home bored as f so the least you can do for me in favor of return to show your appreciation is to like my videos before watching them winter say hello she's not in the mood we've been out all day and i'm going overseas to do my gender reveal um so right now i'm gonna go to the private clinic that i did my um scan and i also did my gender scan at um, the hospital with my midwife but the hospital don't do confettis so i'm going to the private clinic where i got my where i did another um gender reveal to be sure and they do confettis there so i'm just gonna go there get the confettis and stuff because the lady knows what i'm having i did a, i did another scan with her so i can get pictures and stuff because my midwife at that at that time the baby was being very difficult so they couldn't give me any scans pictures this is my cab okay no problem took your fucking time like seriously I'm gonna complain to Uber. So right now I'm on my way. I told her I'll be there after one o'clock. I'm gonna call her again to just let just let her know that I'm making my way. I'm making my way downtown. Uh, kinder, uh, uh, uh. So like I have to go do my nails, my feet, and my chin. And I really wanna get my lashes done, is to be honest, because I do have duo glue and I do have a set of fake lashes. So rude boy, what's going on? Like you're already late and now look. So this is the pickup point. So I had to come to the pickup point. Honestly, can't wait to start driving. Come, I can't bother with my Uber driver. Yeah, I'm gonna make my way to South Woodford so I can get the confettis, and I'll speak to you guys soon. um i've got a rush on my face so please ignore it the baby's making me break out so badly like it's really bad but anyways i thought i would explain this bit so after i left the gender place i did have to go get my hair done from hair by shop hair and then i went um and after i got my hair done i was booked for an interview so i had to go to stratford um and go to the interview to get the job done because you know we're out here jugging so i just wanted to like explain things because like the first bit of the vlog is a bit confusing um so like i said guys like i me winter went to go get the confettis from the confettis we then went um got my hair done so i had to do a literally 360 turn go get my hair done with hair by shop hair and then from hair by shop hair i was um booked to get an interview done later on that night so i had to be there for 9 p.m and my appointment at hair by shop hair was i think was at seven or six something i'm not too sure so i'm just giving you a rundown what basically happened the first part of the vlog so you lot can understand please please guys just a disclaimer my face is a hot mess there's rushes small little spots like i'm getting it brick break listen miracle is making me look mad even worse it's not a joke and it, and it my face hurts so bad oh my nose my nose is hurting me look at that oh. Yeah, it's a quick update. 
so we're running late. Imagine our flight boards at 11 40. Um, everybody's rushing. The yeah. has taken the piss today, and I'm so irritated and I'm so pissed off at BA. Like, bro, now we got to take a coach. We have to take a coach to go all the way over to where the plane is. Bear in mind, yeah, check in was so late because tell me why BA decided. Tell me why BA decided, yeah. Sorry, my skin's breaking out. I've got my chin wax, so it always happens. So tell me why BA decided that they're going to put seven different heat, seven different um, flights into one line. So we had like Canada, Punta Cana. We had um, other people that are going to different um, areas. So it was mad confusing. So people were just in the line for hours. Bro, I was in the line for so long. I got here at nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. My flight takes off at twelve o'clock. Guys, it is eleven forty. And I'm here, look. It's 11.40 and we're only now just fucking getting on the coach. We're only now just getting on the coach. This is fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And on, on this plane, on this coach right here, not everybody is going to Punta Cana. Some people are going to um, Canada. Some people are going to different locations. I'm so lost in And some people are going to China and Japan, blood. I'm confused. And then on top of that, this is another thing that is mind blowing to me. Yeah? Hold on, let me give somebody a seat. Another thing that's mind blowing to me is that I didn't know that I needed to fill out a pregnancy form. So they said that I had to fill out a pregnancy form. I wasn't told of that and I didn't, I didn't know to be honest. I didn't know that British Airways has a whole different form that you have to fill out if you're pregnant. But, the, but my doctor gave me permission and said to me that I can fly. So I don't know why she never wrote something for me. I'm so frustrated because I really hope that everything works out. I, I really hope that when I get to, I hope that when I get to the front to go through to board on the plane, they don't ask me for the form for pregnancy. I hope the person just doesn't ask me anything and just makes me go about my business. That's the flight. That is the flight. British Airways. So if that's the case, I'm telling them I'm not pregnant. I don't know where you lot got that information from. Don't fuck with the truck. I'm not missing my flight to Punta Panta. This costs a lot of fucking money. And my suitcase, I had to pay for my suitcase. Everything cost a lot of money. And my baby dad is in Punta Panta waiting for me because he left yesterday. So he left Jamaica yesterday to go to Punta Panta. So he's literally at the hotel waiting for me. So it's going to be really mistaken if I... God, I just ask you and I just ask you, Father Jesus, like daddy jesus i just ask you please please let me board my flight with no difficulties no no problems i just go straight on my flight and go straight to my seat number we're landing in an hour about an hour now to landing and guys i don't think i can travel in the community again while i'm being pregnant look i look a hot mess i need to shower I'm so uncomfortable like my back is hurting me I'm sitting next to a lovely lady but like it's just me and her so the middle seat's free so I do get to like a bit of more space but it's still uncomfortable I have a blocked nose my nose is fobbing I can feel it doing this my back is hurting me oh my god my back is hurting me I don't think I can go out today when I get
have a great vacation or not. But a guy, wherever the gender is, I am so grateful. I am so thankful. I'm so appreciative. I just pray for a healthy baby, a fat, chubby baby, oh Lord. Thank you for continuously always proving me that you are the most powerful man alive in this world. Thank you for always proving me that the impossible is always possible, oh Lord. Thank you, Jesus, oh Lord. Continue to guide and watch me and my unborn child and my child's father as we are going to have a vacation a very warm the gender reveal. Almighty oh, God, never give your hands off me and my unborn child. Almighty God, amen. No new weapon you come against me and my little family shall ever prosper. Because of the plan of the head to the soul of our feet, Almighty God, shield me from any enemies, oh Lord. Guide and protect me from any evil mouth, oh Lord. I fight against those that fight against me, Almighty God. Cover me, cover Please my room, oh my to God. Use your arms to wrap around my stomach, oh Lord. And never lift just your hands off my stomach, oh Lord, oh my to God. Amen. So I need to go to the toilet, but the toilet is so cute. In Punta Canta, the toilet is really, really cute. It's, it's so pretty. Hi. Oh, it's really beautiful in here. this bathroom is wow this bathroom is very very cute but it's a piss guys it's a lot of walking from immigration it's heavy oh, see. <laughs> <laughs> oh I'm sorry a lot of stuff. Thank. Oh, it's okay. Are Thank you. you. you oh, I'm not driving. <laughs> Are we here? Oh, so you drive on the left side here. Oh. oh my gosh, it's so hot. Hey guys, so I'm vlogging on my other phone because I've run out of storage on this phone. This is my main. It is so hot in Punta Canta. It is so beautiful here. The people are so lovely. Oh my gosh like and when i got off when i got my bag my, my bag and everything in my suitcase um if you don't have a transport it's absolutely fine let me tell you what i found out do not pre-book any transfer with any company on google they are absolutely fucking expensive you know what, okay. what's best to do i'm ready ready what's best to do is is either you book with um booking.com pre, pre in advance or when you get to the airport here, um, before you leave the airport itself, there's a taxi company that's black and yellow, and they have all the prices on like a little um, laminated sheet. And um, they tell you, like, they ask you, like, what hotel are you going to? They ask you, like, um, where you stay in, and then, like, every hotel that they have in Punta Canta is listed on the, on the sheet and the hotel was 40 us dollars right which is not so bad and it's a 30 minutes drive my hotel's 30 How do you say police? Policia. Everywhere, they're everywhere, okay. Yes, for dancing, for party, disco. Remember, this morning is test to me. Oh, ma'am. Yes, Auntie Pat, I never called yes. you. To, I never called you for you to speak to man. Okay, that... I never no, called. Okay. Yes. Look at her, guys. She's, talk she's talking to man on the phone, so she's blushing and she's smiling because she's talking to.
to man. She loved man. Look how she's smiling, look how she's blushing while she's chatting to the man. After I've called her phone to talk to her, she's talking to man on the phone. She loved, she loved man, you know. You're breaking up. Oh, Kokobongo. Yes, the Kuchow. Bar is... Rock Cafe, Bar Restaurant. Kokobongo. Okay, at night, at night time. What? When's the best time to go there? Can you wait? Drink point. When is the best time to go there? On drink, like, during uh, the week. Here and drink point. Okay. Drink, drink point. point. Different clue. Oh, for this party. is beautiful. Either you go to school, you should have learned it. I'm not talking to you because you never even you, you never you didn't even get education in school. Cause what Jamaica what was what was Jamaican teaching you? Bravo! Chatting to man while she's blushing and smiling. I told you, see, I, that's what I put I, I put your face in the camera because I want them to see. So when you chat to man, you're you're blushing. Exactly. After I called her phone to. To check in with her, she answered man Carl. That's just sad. You ate the food last night and you enjoyed. I want to know what the difference is today. Punta, the I'm not gonna lie, Punta Canta is really beautiful. It's a beautiful country. Police, yeah. Oh, This is the hotel. Hotel's nice. Can I? Can I? You can turn off the AC. Turn AC off. Oh wow! Hotel's big in here. How many hotels? Three. So Bravo Splash. Yeah. What is this splash? Hi. Thank you so much, Eddie. What hotel is the Splash? This is the Splash. Oh, okay. Thank you. So what's the one next door? We help you with the luggage, okay? Thank you. You see your gold next door? Or checking? Where? This is this up, and you know what? Yeah, I broke it. They they, okay. they broke the zip. There's not. You want to take it? Yeah, I want to take that because it's open. Yeah. Well, I will take this one. Okay. Take that one. Nothing. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm gonna phone you, okay? Tomorrow we go out. Okay. Hey guys, good morning. Um, it's breakfast time, it's the next day. Um, so we're just in the breakfast area. It's very big, but there's like different, different breakfast areas. Like there's multiple. There's different ones, isn't it? How many? There's a lot of breakfast places. So but I'm gonna show you guys how it looks. Like it's really big here. So the breakfast area is really big like and then like this is only one breakfast buffet there's a lot of breakfast buffets there's a lot Bae's just getting me some breakfast oh is there pineapple oh my gosh look at the honey no no please hi No, no, because it's got that thing on it. What, what are that? What's that? Mango? Yes. Mango? No tomato. I don't like tomato, okay? No tomato. No, no. I don't like tomato.
Thank you, gracias amigos. Thank you. <laughs> My camera is blurry, I'll fix that in a minute. I need some bread. Oh, I like Dominica, but there's some, a few red flags. Dr. said rent, brown bread. So we're brown bread. I have to go and get egg. You guys know how much I love egg. Uh, I've, 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 babe, I've got an omelette. I've got an omelette. I've got an omelette. Wow, it's hot. Oh, kiss me, baby. Kiss you. <laughs> <laughs> the guy gave me this for, as a gift. This is so cute. Oh, this is cute. Oh my gosh, where's my glasses? In your head. Oh shit, sorry. It's hot. I can't wait to dress up and take some cute pictures. Oh my god. Come in, I'll see them. That song's in my head all day. Oh, I love the weather. Under the sea. The sea be well duty free. Anything with you? I haven't seen a lizard since I've been here. Wow. This is so cute. Punta Cana. Punta Cana. I don't think. Ah, no. Giving me the sign, so I gotta take a hit now. I hit you up like who you wanna hang.